today I'm going to be showing you how to properly set up your Hobart Handler wire feed welder. Today we'll be using the Handler 140. First thing we're going to do is connect our ground. You're going to take the rubber sleeve, put it over your cable, and the unit comes with your hardware, 7 16 bolt and nut. And you're going to want to connect those. And the real important thing here to remember is to make sure you get a good contact. This nut needs to be tightened very tight. Uh, do not finger tighten this. Uh, you'll not get a good ground and you'll not have a good weld. Let's connect this. Ground's ready to go. Let's hook up the MIG gun. Installing your MIG gun on the handler is very easy. First thing we'll do is take our trigger leads, put those through the hole in the front. Then we'll take the end of our gun, take that power pin and shove that right into the drive assembly. Make sure you get it all the way in nice and tight and tighten your thumb screw. There are some rubber seals on there. You want to make sure that you um, get a good connection in there for your shielding gas. We'll take our friction terminals, plug those into the receptacle located just above the drive assembly. And it doesn't matter which way you put those in and you're all set. We're going to be installing the flux cord wire that came with this unit. Uh, it is the small uh, two pound rolls. One thing you're going to want to make sure is that the wire is feeding from the bottom into the drive assembly. This will give you a better angle for feeding. So we'll install the spool on, then goes the washer, then we'll put on the spring and the nut. And this is a half inch, so we're going to tighten this down until we get a little bit of resistance here. There we go. Okay, now we'll feed the wire into the drive system. I have snipped the end of the wire off to make a nice, clean, straight piece of wire. Make sure you hold on to the wire. If you let go, your spool will unravel and you'll have a big mess. So we'll release the tension and we'll feed the wire into the inlet guide. I usually use my finger as a guide. I put it on top of that wire and the drive roll and just feed it in until it goes into that liner. Close your idle roll and your tension and just leave it for there for now. We will adjust the tension and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now that the wire is in the drive system, we're going to have to feed that wire up through the MIG gun. So what we're going to do is turn on the machine. I always remove the tip so that the wire can feed out easily and crank up your wire feed speed to 90 or 100 and pull the trigger and keep the gun nice and straight and wait till the wire pops out the end. Here we go. Now put your tip and nozzle on and I'll show you how to set up the welder for welding. Getting the proper settings on your handler is very easy using the welding guide chart located on your access door. First thing we'll do is pick the wire you'll be using, which is a flux cord, the diameter, which is 0 0.030, and let's say that we'll be welding eighth inch today. And your setting will be at three and 40. So all you need to do is go to the front of your machine Put your voltage to 3 and your wire feed speed to 40 and you're ready to weld. Okay, one last thing we need to do before we start welding is set the proper wire feed tension using the tension control knob here. Big mistake people make is over tightening which will cause the wire to uh, go out around which will cause some feeding issues. So I'm going to show you the proper way to set that up. And what we're going to do is have our wire feed speed set at 40 and what's going to happen is if it is not tight enough the drive will just slip and spin if it is tight enough then the wire will curl up and keep feeding so let's give it a try and see what happens okay you can see that it was spinning in the machine and what we're going to need to do is turn it down i'm going to go down to about two see if that's the proper setting There we go, you see the wire was curling up in out of the gun, so it looks like we're all set to weld. If you have any questions on how to set up your machine or how to properly operate your machine, please give us a call or visit our website. 